What's up? All right, so the Subaru uh, was kind of like a no-go, kind of blew up a little bit. Uh, maybe I had yes, yeah, I don't know, I was leaking a bunch of oil, but traded it. Um, it's like a little sting, but I got this. She's got a 5-liter V8 in her. Rear-wheel drive, unfortunately an automatic, but these are only made in an automatic. Not about slip and fill and some mud, so that's awesome. But uh, today, we're going to get some window tint on it, and I'm going to show you before and after on some window tint. I'm getting a really good deal on it. I'm going to go with 15%. Uh, so, this is how it looks now. And hopefully next time you see it, it'll have some tinted windows. <clears throat> and I want to make some videos with uh, doing some poles in it and some burnouts and stuff. And Nate also got a new car. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I will say it does have VTEC. And uh, we'll do some races with that and uh, go from there. So keep you posted. Mercedes, baby. All right. So I'm going to try and do this while I'm driving. I don't know if that's safe or not, but... It's really smooth and really quiet, as you can tell, like even if you get on the gas. And it's a pretty smooth ride. I plan on changing uh, a lot of that and just kind of probably ruining this car. So I really want to put some like stiff coilovers on it, maybe autocross it, and definitely straight pipe it, because these things sound amazing straight pipe. But my biggest pet peeve of this car, if you ever get into one of these and you're like a taller guy like me, is all these buttons. Like, if I put my knee up here, that's where the seat adjustment is. So I move my knee, and then I'm like adjusting the seat and everything, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. And then there's all these buttons. And then there's these buttons. And then there's buttons inside the center console. And then there's buttons on the dash. And then there's a bunch of buttons over here. Half of them I don't even know what they do. And... I mean, I try to read this stuff, and it's in, like, German and shit, and, like, I, I, I have no idea. I don't know. I want to detail the inside of this, but she's got 142 on her. Uh, I only have a restraint light. It's not for an airbag. It's because this seatbelt thing is, like, broke and won't go all the way back, so I'm just going to fix that. I looked at it, and I think I can just, like, glue it into place, and, like, it'll be all right. I don't know, I'll figure something out. Or I could just buy a new one there, not that much. It was like 30 bucks or something. But, yeah, it's a pretty smooth ride. I, I don't know. I almost feel like I should probably leave it alone and keep it as a daily, because I really do need a daily since all my cars are usually race cars. So, there's more to come with that. Because I also thought, maybe just buy like a, a Civic and just go balls to the wall about it and big old turbo and everything. I really want like an Integra again, but I don't know. I'm on my way to go get the windows tinted, so we'll see how that looks. Alright, so I'm getting my windows tinted. This is my buddy Ryan. What's up? He's, uh, he'll give you a little gist, uh, one on one of window tint. Okay, so I'm just, I hand cut all my film. Um, so, the way I do it to save a little bit of time is I'll cut the driver's side and passenger side at the same time. So I actually have two different pieces of film on here right now, and then one different part. Um, and that is, well, they're facing opposite directions, and you know, essentially saves a shit ton of time. It takes me 20, 30 minutes to cut a window, so doing both of them at the same time obviously saves 20, 30 minutes. And that's about all I'm doing right now. Well, there you go. So. I don't want to show too much, I'll show a little bit of his work, but I kind of want to give like the suspense factor of a before and after, but we'll see how it turns out. Go. So, after you take your plastic off of this, spray it down, that just keeps static electricity from grabbing dirt, dust, grime, whatever in the air. And it also makes it slip on this window so you can stick it on here. Then you usually just leave those air bubbles there and stuff, right? And just just yeah. kind of leave it. 
Yeah. As for character. Just, right <laughs> just slap it on there, call it good. Ah, oh, dude, that's gonna look so awesome. Ah, oh, it's gonna look sick. I can't wait to straight pipe this thing too. Oh, yeah. Dual quad tips out the back right there. Nice thing with frameless windows is you just stick it on there, squeeze the water out, and you're fucking done. This guy's a straight pro. What's your Instagram? It is Meraki Tense. It's M E R A K I Tense. Give him an ad on Instagram. Oh my god. So this dude's a uh, wizard. He's already done. That's one window and then we just gotta do the rest. I can't wait to see how it looks. This guy is straight pro. Baller status. He literally got that done in like two minutes while I'm showing him YouTube videos and having a conversation with him. He got that done. There you go. If you ever want to know how dirty your windows are. That's gross. Yeah, I need to detail this thing. It's, it's pretty gross in there. The seats probably still are uh, fresh of farts from previous owners. <laughs> I gotta wash that stuff out. Uh, Alright, let's see how the... Alright, so he's finally done. Uh, it's a little late, a little tired, whatever. But here's the finished product. We went with the little strip on the front. We ended up doing 15 on the windows and 5 on the, the rear. Which I think looked better anyways. It's up looking sick, matching those rims. Looks like a different car, man. Yeah, it sure does. What do you think? I love it. I wish it was mine. Get down here, get the glamour shot. That thing is sexy. It makes it look like an expensive sports car now. So now I have to drive around and not roll my windows down for like a week, I guess. And I uh, hope that we don't have any crazy snowstorms or anything. A bunch of salt. But make sure you like and subscribe. What's up guys? Alright, so it's day one with uh, the tent and it's kind of cold so it's going to make it take forever to cure which kind of sucks. Uh, I just got home, it's almost dark. I just wanted to make a little video so you guys could see what it looks like after uh, day one of curing and kind of just get a picture of it before like it got dark. So here's the turnout. Uh, I also kind of, like after having it for a day, I kind of feel like I should have just did 5% all the way around instead of having 15 on the front and then 5% on the rear and back window because you can kind of see through that like a little bit. But, oh, and then we did, you know, the eyebrow and everything. Uh, there's no bubbles or anything. There's some of that that you're, you're seeing right there, I guess, is normal when it's curing. Um, that'll dry out and dissipate, and it'll have a mirror finish. But overall, I think it looks pretty fucking badass. I uh, really cleaned it up. And I want to show you guys this too in the rear. Uh, he was telling me that right there. Uh, that's from like the little, you know, beads. Uh, he said that'll look like that all the way around the uh, window when it's done curing. So I can't roll my windows down or do anything for a week. So hopefully it gets warm tomorrow. It's supposed to be like 50 something and sunny. So hopefully that helps dry it out. I was thinking about putting it in my garage with a uh, heater too and uh, trying to help it a little bit. But uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the tent. Uh, I got other plans for it. I'm going to do a dual air intake because it's got dual intakes on it. And I'm going to uh, cut out my own cutout into that bumper so we'll see how that pans out. I think I'm going to trace that and then cut it over there. And I'm going to do a dual exhaust with uh, quad tips. That's my plan. 
I'm thinking um, maybe just get rid of the cats and everything, like everything, get rid of the whole entire exhaust and just go headers into an X pipe and then sh straight piped at the back. If it's too loud, I might throw something in there, but I'm also thinking maybe about getting like electronic cutouts because this car is really quiet and it's a smooth, like nice ride on the highway. So like I can keep it like that and then with electric cutouts, I could just push a button and then have it like race car mode. So haven't decided on that yet, but keep you posted. Hope you guys like the tent. Oh shit. What's up? Uh, it's been like a solid week now and the tint on the Mercedes I think should be like fully cured now so that's how she looks looks pretty good but we got Nate back over here What's up? hey tell us a little bit about your new car man all right so what we got here we got the 23 VTEC motor in the 1998 sixth generation of Accord <laughs> dude, does she rip? Oh, dude, she fucking rips it, dude. I, I have not even rode in this car yet. Uh, you never even felt. I drove it for a little bit, but I haven't. I haven't even felt VTEC in it yet. What are your plans for this? Uh, go to the ground for the summer, and then probably put some rims on it, and uh, maybe less fish bowls. Sorry if you guys can't really hear because it is really windy out here. The weather's been just crap. But I want you guys to show uh, or see Nate's new car with VTEC! Monica! Just like that. Whoa! Oh! Dude, this would smoke the Integra. Oh, yeah. The four door? Four door versus four door? I think so. Now I was originally going to buy a car that was actually the exact same car and the same color but <laughs> the guy screwed me and he sold it to this other dude so I didn't want to make a video about going to get this car and then like not happening and getting screwed on it so that ended up happening. So I'm looking at another car, I'm not going to say anything about it. If it pulls through, it pulls through and you guys will see it. But I'm going to leave with that. The tent turned out great. Make sure you add Ryan on Instagram. I'll put it the link down below and make sure you like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. All right, so I went, uh, made a little bit of a drive and ended up buying a car. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, if I'm gonna make this the race car or motor swap it or what. But here it is. I won't say too much about it. Uh, it's just a 2000 EK hatch, non VTEC uh, five speed. Battery's dead, so I went and got a battery. I don't even know if it starts yet, so I'm going to see if it starts or if I'm just screwed. Uh, I got it for really cheap, it needs a ball joint, I'll show you right there. So I towed it here. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't know, I'll talk more about it later, I just want to see if it starts. So I just hooked that battery up and I'm going to try and start it, so I'll... Let you guys see this. And it's actually not that bad inside. Alright, please start. Please start, please start, please start. Oh! Well, it's not starting yet. I'm going to try it again. It is puttering, so I think it's going to start. Uh, it's been sitting for like six years or something, so this will be the first startup in a long time. Ooh. Oh! 
massive belt squeal and she died but she runs she runs she runs I'm gonna try to get her started though oh shit wow that's a lot of smoke did the belt just fry Ah, oh, it smells like belt ah oh, yeah I think I just roasted the belt sweet holy shit she runs I shouldn't have turned the camera off because I tried to do it again. Look at all this smoke. And uh, it started right up, but it's actually holding a, an all right idle. It's quiet, too. It's like. Oh, it actually runs pretty good. There's like no gas in it at all. That's awesome. Well. We'll see where this goes. Big plans, I don't know. I definitely plan on autocrossing this, but you guys gotta see this. That is awesome.